Hey, welcome to February's Reading With Me. Cancer, this is your reading, so welcome wherever you are listening to from around the world. Thank you for joining us. Sit back, relax and see what's in store for you. February is set to be a busy month astrologically or um, within our skies anyhow because we have the beginning of the season of eclipses and we also have Vesta the asteroid within our skies that we can visually sight or perhaps with a telescope so her energy is really a bound as well. She's the sacred heart and the high priestess energy. She um, represents our ability to integrate and focus our energy and bring wholeness to ourselves. She's the sacred feminine creative energy which allows us to regenerate ourselves and dedicate us to our aspirations, plans and goals. She's the guardian of joy and passion within your soul and she represents the fire of spirit. She teaches us to renew ourselves. So with all that sort of <laughs> bountiful passion and joy energy, let's see what's in store for you guys, Cancer. So four cards from this deck, the Rider Waite, and then one overall energy card from the Morgan Greer. Um, and at the end we have an Oracle card as well. So a really colourful, intuitive, active reading going on here for you. Let's see guys. The Ace of Wands. The Four of Swords. The Eight of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Very nice. Two aces. Envious. Most people want the aces in their readings as well. We know they're always about new beginnings and often prosperous energies. Okay. Last card, the overall energy card. The Page of Cups. So we, two aces, a sword, a wands and a cup, well two cups if you like. So you've got a nice mix going on, no major arcana cards, but you did well with two aces. We see a lot of grey on the top of the, um, the reading there in the decks, that's kind of a more passive energy. Then we've got the two blues connected together and blue gives us a more floaty feeling and sort of um, sky type feeling as well. Let's move in with the Ace of Wands. This is your creative ability. It's about um, the fire and the passion and the power, exactly what we talked about with Vesta. So when this card turns up, it's still very much being handed to you in the ethers. It's not grounded, it's not solid yet. So it's the possibility and the awakening of new beginnings at the creative energy force. So something in you could be stirring passionately. You could get a desire to change your career or to change direction with something. And these ideas could come to you through divine intervention or through very creative forces. They may be um, incorporated to you th via someone else or the inspiration might be started through someone else or an idea that you share with someone, but it feels as though it's being handed to you and that it will be your journey to uplift and take. Oftentimes this is considered when career choices or opportunities for career advancement or new employment are around. So for those of you seeking employment or wanting to start your career new or fresh, this could be a great time to get your CV out there and to make those applications. So get those CVs into action, pump them out, look for new jobs. This is the time of opportunities. We come to the next card and we see the Four of Swords there for you. 
This is often a time of repletion and time out and thinking and quiet retreat, repose. Um, it's, it's generally a card saying that you may need to recharge your batteries and re-energize yourself. So some of you may have been very busy over the festive period and the beginning of the new year. This point in time is telling you to just recharge your batteries, not to forget to do that. Sometimes we're so busy in life, we have so many things going on, it's like bing, 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 and we forget that we need recharging. You know, all the modern appliances and um, technology you use, all of them need to be recharged often, don't they? So don't forget about yourself. The other thing the Four of Swords can mean is that you go on a quiet retreat with someone special and close, and it can be an intimate um, time where there is, you know, coupling. And also, this can actually be a time of fertility, so conception can happen at that time. Um, when this card is around between two very close people and I mean physical conception of a pregnancy as well so that's a possibility for those of you who are either seeking that or contemplating that type of energy. We And the other thing with the Four of Swords it can indicate minor surgery for some people so some of you might be booked in for a surgery something that needs fixing or tweaking it would be the thing that comes to mind and it would be something that might be planned that's going to be beneficial to you to re-establish your health regime again. We come to the next one, the Eight of Wands, another card that people quite often like to receive in their readings. It's about swiftness, action, quick paced. It has a couple of usually fairly specific meanings. One is new relationships coming into your life and these can be romantic and they can be very swift and quick and bing occur just like that unexpected and interestingly the page of cups your overall energy card is intercepting both of these and slightly more on this one here and the page of cups is about love and romance and feelings of the heart so um, the other thing the Eight of Wands can mention is travel and sometimes travel by air, so to another country or within your own country but by aeroplane, sometimes for business and sometimes for leisure. So some of you may be about to go on a trip somewhere. We come to the Ace of Cups over here, your second Ace. This is a beautiful one. Again, this is about emotions, love, the heart chakra, the energy of companionship, supporting, nurturing, and being divinely inspired. So there's a whole bunch of stuff down here that almost talks about new love energy or relationships possibly coming into your life. And with the aces, they almost generally say it's a new beginning. So the ace of cups does have a degree of divine intervention with it, and it is being brought about from some sort of um, celestial or uh, realm of energy that's above and beyond anything around us that we see. So you could say from the spiritual perspective of life, this energy of new beginnings or new love connection or some sort of healing even for the heart is in the air for you guys. And again, it's being handed to you, it's not yet formed, it's still in the process, and it could take a little while for it to actually eventually move from the ethers or the thought processes into the physical world. We come to your overall energy, and we see this very youthful looking person, the Page of Cups, and he generally he's handing you that cup with the fish in it, which is also about you know, esoteric, slightly spiritual, slightly God-type source energy of the love chakra at a very deep, um, gentle, nurturing, supportive, uplifting level. So that's your overall energy for the whole month. So there is a gentleness and there is a connection and there is a love energy and a relationship kind of feeling to your reading in particular. 
This can also be the energy of a younger person in your life that could be a family member, either a child of your own or a sibling that may be on your mind as well that either wants your attention or is helping support you in one way or another. Whatever way you look at it, the feeling of love is in the air and also the feeling of passion and um, action. So I think it's a really nice reading. You did well with the two aces and we can see that whole kind of combobulated flow of energy throughout the month if you like. So let's put these ones away and move on to your last card for the reading and see what comes out for you guys, Cancer. Child. Well, <laughs> yeah, we talked about that. So conception is high on your list for the month, and if some of you may be focusing on that. Um, and for some of you, it might be something you hadn't thought about, but it's in the background, and it's in the ethers, and it's in possibly those, um, the cup, the Ace of Cups also. Let me just uh, get that card again. This is a card that can sometimes symbolise fertility. So I talked about fertility in two cards there, the Four of Swords and also the Ace of Cups represents fertility and conception. So we say um, we're talking about the conception of a child at this stage um, there is also conception of ideas and energies and new relationships as well. So moving back for the meantime to this card, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So we talked very briefly about there may be some uh, young person in your life who does want some support or time or energy from you as well. Um, we also talked about the need for you to re-nurture your own body and heal it. And part of that can be um, through the youthful and exuberant energy of the childlike energy, which this card is talking to you about. So definitely rejuvenation for yourself and... Um, really connecting to that childlike energy and spontaneity and fun and happiness as well. With the idea of the talk of the new um, ability for some of you to change career, some of you may be even thinking of children in your career one way or another. So this is also what that card is talking about. There is also the possibility that your family may be extended at this time. You could either have... Um, uh, extra family members come to stay which include a child or you might be involved in co-joining uh, co households either through you know new parents getting together or joining uh, households together where two sets of four different families with children come together so blended households and then of course there is the conception and pregnancy um, talk around this one as well so if it's not yourself, it might be someone within your family area that finds that they are having a pregnancy. And it can be a young pregnancy, so a younger person who um, actually is pregnant or becomes pregnant. So there we are, Cancer. You have a great amount of love and um, new opportunities and nurture and support within your reading. So very gentle and loving reading. I think a wonderful way to bring in the energies of Vesta and the change coming forward that February will bring. Thank you all for listening. I love when you leave your comments and that you sub and like. Have a wonderful February, everyone. Namaste.